Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you may notice we have a special guest with us. This is... Keenan. <laughs> and do you recognize him? Do, do you I recognize, look different? Do you recognize yourself? I recognize <laughs> them. <laughs> we recognize you, you were painting with us. And he is the camera guy and I brought him on to paint with us today. That's true, thank you for having me. I thought it'd be so fun. So, we're gonna do an overhead shot because we are painting, oh we need, this one that looks more like you. Hey. We're doing a self-portrait. So we're gonna be painting and drawing this together. Oh. As um, a community doing this together. So the supplies I want you to grab out is, let me move this, is you will have, if you have our box or if you buy this, or even if you don't, actually ask a grown up and say, hey, can you go to their website, letsmakeart.com and download this. So we have a template a template means it's already there and already made. So it's the sunglasses. Okay. It's sunny, it's hot outside. It is very warm. <laughs> it's very warm and today. And it's very bright. So we're gonna put on our sunglasses and we're gonna draw that. So grab your piece of paper, this is watercolor paper. So grab that out so it'll have an outline. Then we do watercolors here at Let's Make Art. So always have your palette, any kind of palette. You can use a paint or um, a plate, but we're gonna be using four colors today. The colors are, Keenan can tell us. Red, deep yellow. Or any yellow. Or any yellow. Blue, and sepia. And sepia is another word for brown. Like so, my hair. Yes. So if you have a brown color, we're gonna be using those four colors. Then we always have our paint brushes. You can have any sizes. If you want a big and a small, your cup of water and then for the fun little bonuses so if you're looking at here do you see how on my on the shirt that I actually had painted there's some white spots yes that is with a magical white crayon that's with a crayon that's with a crayon so what? we're gonna do that those steps today there's a few projects that we're doing that use this magical crayon and then if you have any other crayons so you may notice that in my sunglasses I drew a a scenery so if you have crayons you can grab those out um, and handy dandy pencil. Handy dandy. That will be necessary because we're going to be drawing together. So mm -hmm. grab out all your supplies. Now let's do, oh wait, I'll leave this there so we can draw together. Let's do our motto. So if we all can raise our right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom! Okay, now we are ready to do this. So, step one is we're gonna draw together. Okay. We're gonna draw together. So, grab your pencil. Now, the first step is, let me put this, maybe up. Yeah. Does that help? Yeah, this will help us. Okay, so the first step is, is we are going to draw an upside down U. So whenever you're drawing, if you have never drawn before, I love that you're here with us. If you've drawn before, I love that you're here with us too. Yeah. So you can draw, I know you can. So we're gonna take it into small steps. So we're going to draw the top of our head. So if you look at Keenan and R's head, or if you look at yourself in a mirror, what shape is that? What letter? It's, it's an actually an upside down letter. Or it looks like an M. U. A U. So we're gonna do an upside down U and then another U at the bottom. Mm. So let's do that together. That's a clever play on words. What did I say? We're gonna draw a U and it's a self portrait. <laughs> a good one. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so let's do the top of our head first. So it may help, so if you, when you wear sunglasses, actually Keenan has glasses on. I'm a good example. Yeah, so Keenan has his glasses, and then so think about, we're starting about here. So if you look at your glasses, it can be a little bit off to this, a little bit more on the inside. So you're gonna start there, and then if it helps, you can draw a line there, sometimes that helps me, and then maybe where you think you'll go. And then you're gonna connect those two points with an upside down U. How big of a U are we going for? Does it matter? U, and when you look at this, let's see. Would it help to have a third line to have like a middle meeting point? You can do that if that helps you, like do if it. if you wanna kind of guess and have say, do okay, it. let's put a line here. I love that. And then you've got this space to go along and then you go, oosh. I'm gonna be more of a, uh, an upside down V. Sounds good. So yes, 
There is no exact shape that or size that needs to be. We're just drawing our head, our forehead. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have a chin. So we're gonna do our U on the opposite side, so on the bottom. So let's do what Keenan taught us, where we'll draw a line here, draw a line somewhere over here, doesn't matter where, and then down here. So if you look at this one, you'll see, if you draw it too short, then we're kind of, we're not giving ourselves a lot of space. Mm. So you wanna draw it, I'll give a, cause imagine your nose and your mouth. So kind of just use your imagination. Where does it okay. make sense? So you're gonna draw you. Curve and come around. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what, this is a pencil. So if you want to draw another line and then erase it, it's the beauty of a pencil, you can do that. Boom, there we go. Sweet. Kind of looks like a Santa Claus without a beard. I'm not sure why. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Now, we all have noses. True. And noses are, if we're gonna, we're thinking things in shapes. It just helps us break it down to draw. So our nose is a triangle, because it's a line and a line and another line. But we only see because it's connected to our face, so we're gonna draw a triangle, and we're kind of using our imagination. But our nose is about here, mm -hmm. so draw a triangle without mm -hmm. one of the sides. Because it's poking out, because our nose is poking out low. So it's kind of like you're looking at us from there. Oh yes, and yours is curved, yeah. Curved nose. Deal, mine's a pointy nose, I guess. Yeah, Yours nice. is a curved nose. Curved nose. Sweet, okay, then we all have beautiful smiles. So, you can either draw all your lips if you want, you can make it really simple, we don't need to overcomplicate this, and I'm just gonna draw another U. Oh. A really wide, big one, I'm just smiling. So you can draw it on any side, again, if you wanna draw your whole lips. Look at you, smiley Look dude. Look at this guy, smiling. Sweet, okay, now, we have our face. So let's do our neck and shoulders. So if you look at Keenan and I again, you'll see that we have our face and it's connected by our neck. And so our necks are actually just two lines. You see other two lines? Yes. Here's no. our two lines. There you go. So we're gonna draw two lines connected from our neck. So you're gonna add two lines. And it, I mean, this one's really skinny. This one can be bigger. Okay. It's really cool. It doesn't have to look at perfect. We're just drawing our neck, our imaginary neck. Sweet. Then we all have shoulders. So our shoulders are a horizontal line. Horizontal line goes across. Yes. So you're gonna draw that from the edge to the edge. Now, if you wanna have more go up and down, you can if you just wanna draw a line across. I kinda make it simple and I just draw mm. kind of a line like that. Sweet. Now. Yeah, there's my shoulders. Here's the thing, actually. Okay. When you are doing this, Keenan's, there's a few different things you can think about, actually. Is if you want, this is your chance to be creative, because that's what we're doing here, mm -hmm. is what what shirt are you wearing? We're gonna color in our shirt once we get to our, color, our painting, but when you're drawing this, do you wanna draw your collar? How do you draw a collar? Okay, so let's break it down. Break it down. So if you look at your shirt and you're looking at Keenan's shirt, but <laughs> so remember what we're doing is whenever we draw, we look for shapes. So I see a shape right here. Okay. And I see another shape right here and it leaves this kind of imaginary triangle. Do you see that? Yes, I do. So I wonder how would it help you if you draw, maybe you draw the imaginary triangle or the other way, would you rather draw the collar? Well, do I have the triangle start like this? Boom, and then go out? Yeah. Okay. That works, yes. And then it looks like you have a line that goes down for your buttons. Line for the buttons. And I have a circle for a button. Mm-hmm. How many buttons do I have? One, two, two. 
Oh, I got a little excited with that button. One, one button is bigger than the other. <laughs> Love it. Okay. There you go. Nice. You just drew your collar. I've got a collar here. <laughs> okay. Now, once you're done with that, we're going to do our hair. So we all have different hairstyles. <laughs> Keen's is spiky. Mine is long and straight. Is yours curly? Do you want it up in a ponytail? This one's in a ponytail. How do you like to draw yours? So when it comes, the other thing they want to show is for your hairstyle, you have your, can, if we can do a shot of Keenan, he has his forehead, but then his hair's on top. So for his, you can draw, so do you see on this one, the difference? Where yours is you have your oval mm -hmm. or your U and you just drew your hair on top. So you can draw you some hair on top, whereas if you're like me and we have our hair kind of comes in front, so we have a little bit right here, mm -hmm. I want to draw that with you. So okay. either way, so for you, you can add some on top. Okay. And then if your hairstyle is like mine, maybe you think, okay, if you is your hair parted, which means where your hair lands. So on mine, mine's parted on this side. So, and it kind of sweeps. So again, I'm thinking of here's a curve and here's a curve. So I'm gonna draw that right here and show you. So I have my part, then I'm gonna draw a curve and then a curve like that. So there's my hair. And now if your hair is up in a ponytail, I want you to draw another curve and another curve. If your hair is like mine and it's down, if we can do a shot of me up front again, do you see how I have my hair? But if it's behind me, I don't see it all. Mm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the top of my hair because it's a little bit higher. And I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna draw another line, curve all the way around. And then I'm gonna stop because again, my hair goes behind my shoulder. So curve around. Boom. Oh. Do you see it? Yes. I fixed my head shape. Okay. Because I have a pencil and the power of the pencil is fix your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. So now. So now your hair is spiky on top. So do I just draw lines that like that? If it helps you, you can either draw lines like that, yeah, or just draw a few just to help you remember that. But you don't need to make it perfect because we're gonna paint it in. Boom, yep. Like that? Yeah. Because you're gonna paint it. So that's kind of what we, we did right here. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, so again, and also maybe if you have our step sheet, I drew a little bow. So maybe you have a bow in your hair. You get to be creative and you get to draw because this is your self portrait. Like a bow and arrow? Sweet, that looks great. Yes, you can draw that if you have a bow and arrow in your hair. Bow and arrow on your head. Okay, now we are, are we done with drawing? I think so. Yeah, we have everything. Sweet. Okay, let's go to the next step. So what I want you to do is we're gonna talk about for right now our skin. Mm. So what I want you to do is we're going to outline our face. It helps us, so we're gonna do that as a first step before we get to painting. So if you have a box, you might have a crayon that is this peach color. If you have this or if you don't, these are so cool. I was so excited to get this. This is a Colors of the World Crayon box. Cool. So that means there are so many different skin colors. And so I'm gonna pull them all out actually for us. There's oh so oh. many. So you can use this for your hair or for your skin. But do you see how there's so many different colors? It's just like you and I. So actually, if Keen and I can show our skin. So if you look at our skin, we're actually different colors. We're all, we're both humans, mm -hmm. right? We're humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a human. Okay, we're For human. For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> so we each have different skin colors and that is beautiful. So I want you to look at your skin color and say, what color is mine? So if you look at ours, mine has maybe a little bit more yellow. I'm more red. Yeah, he's a little bit more red undertone. So I wonder if we're looking at our crayon box. My hand looks like cheese. <laughs> and I have paint all over mine. Yeah. But is there a skin color that looks a little bit more like yours? So maybe you're really tan or you have a darker, 
beautiful chocolate skin color. There are so many different colors that you can pick from. I don't really know. There's, How do you and this is just, this is just also, we're gonna paint ourselves, this is just to draw. So, uh, hmm. I'm just gonna pick this one. Medium golden. Boom. Will that work? Let's do it. All right, we'll see what happens. You can also, yeah. So, what I want you to do is I want you to draw the outline of it. So, wherever your skin is. So, my skin is right here. Okay. So, okay. So, my jaw. Yep. So, your jaw. This might be too brown for me. That's okay. Do you want to go a lighter color? Maybe you just got tan. I did. I was on the beach. <laughs> or do you want that one? Or I was mowing the lawn. Again, we're going to paint this in you. <laughs> So, but we're just outlining where our skin touches. So my skin touches my sunglasses. Let me see if this one seems closer. Or maybe the peach, do you want that one? My peachy color? Yeah. It's maybe I'll have several shades. Yes. Maybe this is my part not human. Because <laughs> we were asking? Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, also do your nose, because our nose. But our mouth is going to be a color. So yeah, these crayons are so cool. And again, you may have a peach color, but I want to show you that there's so many different skin colors. Nose, mouth. Oh, and our neck is also. Our mouth and our neck. Yeah. But not our shirt. Nope because we're gonna color that in, we get to decorate that. Okay, now, yes. we're ready to move to our watercolor. So next step is grab your brush, make sure you have your cup of water handy. Now, we're gonna paint our hair color. We all have different hair colors. True. So mine is a little bit darker, so let's see. I'm gonna have a, a little tester to see. So sepia, which is the brown that you have, is this color. Oh, that looks pretty close to mine. Then it's a little more red than mine. Okay, so this is why we love watercolor. So if Keenan decides, okay, mine's a little bit more red, do you wanna test it out? Actually, maybe grab a little bit of that and pick up a little bit of the red, see what happens. Or you can drop. This and red? Yeah, because you said you think yours might be a little bit more red. Yeah. Just a little. Well, let's see what happens, do it. This is how we experiment. Mix Oops. it all. If you need more red, so that's a very... That's very red. That's very red. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, that's a pretty... I've dyed my hair that color before. <laughs> have you really? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, if you've dyed hair, then yes. You can have red hair. So what so you do is you experiment. You need a little bit more brown to make it. Ooh, that's not very brown. Ooh, so yeah, add more. I'm going to drop a couple drops over here. So... While Keenan's experimenting, because that's what you do, is you look at yourself and say, so, okay, oh, maybe it's a little bit more red, or maybe it's more, more yellow, because it's blonde. If you have darker hair like me, we don't have black or really, really dark brown. Oh, that's a beautiful color. That is a beautiful color. So, can I show you a trick? Do you yes. think, I kind of think it's like that, you but maybe. You think my hair's that dark? Well, okay, that's what I say. It's that, but a little bit lighter. So, add. Agua. Yes. So here's a trick. If you find a color and you want it a little bit lighter, add water. So Keenan will show you. Yes. You can even go more. So if you add water, water makes a color lighter because our water is clear. So just so you know that. Now, while Keenan is finding out his color, I want to show you if you have dark hair like me. So I'm going to take the brown. I'll do it over here. So I have brown, and then I'm gonna mix all four of my colors together. So one drop of my red, one drop of my yellow. Oop, that was two drops, we'll see what happens. One drop of my blue. So on your palette, you are experimenting. So let's mix this all together. Warning. Yes. Blue and sepia make green. Okay, cause it's kinda, yeah. It's like a yellow. Yellowy. I did not know that. Oh, you're just having fun mixing. That's phenomenal. This is how you experiment. Okay, let's see. Does this look like my hair color? 
Mm, pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. So again, if you want a darker color, you're gonna mix brown and all three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Oh, this looks so pretty. All the different colors we're getting. The other thing is that your hair may not be all one color. Keenan kind of has some colors in it, so maybe you add while you're while we're painting it, maybe you add some yellow in there. Maybe you add some And your hair will change color as you get older. What if you did a self-portrait of what you think you're gonna look like as you get older? <laughs> With white hair? White hair. <laughs> the fun idea. Okay. So we are going, are you good if we paint? Yeah, let's paint. Okay. So once you have your color of your hair mixed, now, if you are light hair and you have blonde color, you have yellow. So maybe you have yellow, I wanted to say this, maybe you have yellow and you add just a really, really small bit of red maybe. Ooh, that's a pretty, that's, that's a like a- pretty, ooh. Ooh, that's a good skin color actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, so we can keep color. that. But again, maybe you're you're that, but you have more blonde, so you just add more yellow. This is how you're an artist. We just experiment and try new colors. Yes. So pick up your color that you're gonna do. So I have my hair color, and I'm gonna paint all of this part because my hair is all that color. So you're gonna go and you're gonna paint your hair. Now, like I said, if you have some different different colors. Do I just go up? Mm-hmm. So you can have fun with yours as you can add all your spikes or, I mean, your hair kind of goes up and out. Do you wanna do that? Yeah. So do you see how Ken's using those strokes? He's just painting and going along. So I'm gonna do that too. So we're just gonna paint. Mm -hmm. Go along. Mm -hmm. So I actually ended up mixing the color I mixed for my hair with a little bit of yours. And it came oh, out to this. Nice. I feel like that's pretty close. That is. And again, if you want a hint of a different color, maybe you mix, oh, my skin got a little bit of. Ooh, you could even give yourself different hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> so. I need a little bit more. So again, dark is all three colors. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, when you're doing this, do you see how I painted? Oh, I keep adding more, but I'm just gonna keep layering on top my hair and I'm drawing all these paint strokes, just like Keenan is too. Ooh, you have a hint of red in your hair. Just a touch. Which you do. I do. In your beard. I oh, do. I you have a beard. facial hair. <laughs> Whoa, I'm like an adult. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so we're just painting our hair. Look at that. I got some tall hair sometimes. Deal, so draw that, paint it. And sometimes it overlaps and makes different shapes. Sometimes it does what I ask, sometimes it doesn't. You know? Do you ever get bedhead? <laughs> Do I get bedhead? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me too. Right? That's a mustache. Mm hmm. That'll, that'll get filled in. Oh man, I look like a secret agent right now. <laughs> secret agent, man. <laughs> and then I have a little coming this way. And I have interesting facial hair because it doesn't touch this hair or this hair. <laughs> I have brothers with really cool beards and I do not have a cool beard. That's me, that's my face. Boom. This Pretty is, accurate. Does this look like me? <laughs> okay. Sweet. Sweet. Now, next step is we are going to do our face, so our skin. Okay. 
So this is where I want you to again get out a scratch piece of paper and you're gonna experiment and mix a few different colors. So what may help to start with is think of yellow as your base. Okay. So I'm gonna have some yellow. And then let's see what happens if I draw add one at. So because yellow and red make Orange. Orange. So our skin color is kind of orange, but not quite. It's more like a peachy color. So that's why I want to have a lot of yellow. Can they see that? Oh yes, they can. A lot of yellow and a little bit of red. And I want to see to not have it be so bright orange. What if we add a little bit of brown? Let's oh. mix that together. Let's see what we get. Oh. Ooh, okay. Kind of goldish. Yeah, which Ooh. So let's do that magic where if I add more water, so did you see how I have that, but then I just added water? Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe Very a little light. bit more. Okay, okay. Oh. So maybe add a little bit of red, you think? Because it's kind of yellow right now? Sure. That was a very little amount of red. Very, very little. Doesn't take much to change a color. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Is that for you? So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you. I'm much more red. Yeah, so maybe you had a little bit more red to it. So you can use that as your starting then if you want to make your own. Okay. So the trick is I want you to use lots of water because it will make that color a lot lighter. So I'm going to grab a lot of water and mix that in. So yeah, what are you thinking of doing? Touch. Touch red. Okay. Just a touch. And then a little mm. bit of... A little bit of water. A little bit of water. Kind of like a ketchup-y color. <laughs> and then this will be for me. And a little more brown. Yeah. It's a little orange right now. You're not mm -hmm. that orange. I haven't been in the sun much. But then add lots of water because I think that'll really help make a light skin color. Oh, yes. Ooh, that looks really soft. Uh, there we go. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yes. That's, and if you add, that's me. If you add even more water, then yes. So if you want to make it lighter, whatever you get, remember, water's your friend. Boom. And stay hydrated. Yes. Okay, so we are going to paint our the forehead, so the top above our sunglasses, all right here, and then your neck. Okay, so now we painted all of our skin parts. Now, we are going to have some fun and I want you to decorate your accessories. So you have your sunglasses and we have your shirt that you're wearing. Now, if you have crayons or if you have the magical white crayon, remember how I showed I drew some dots before? Mm -hmm. And even on this one, do you see how there's a cool pattern? Yes. This is with the magical crayon. So what I want you to do is if you have that, and if you don't, you can use any colored crayon, is your sh does your shirt have polka dots? Does it have stripes? Does it have zigzags? Does it have a flower? Does it have a basketball? My shirt doesn't, but it's gonna have some cool stuff in my painting. Okay, oh, so in, on your painting you're gonna have it. Yes, so you get to use your imagination, be creative. So grab your either your crayon or your magical crayon and you won't see this. So, I think I'm gonna draw, I'll draw what I'm wearing. I have a little circles and lines. I'm gonna draw, well, it's hard to see. Yeah, I'm gonna draw some leaves. So when you're drawing this, you won't see it, but I want you to decorate. Now that you did your crayon part, we are going to color or paint our sunglasses and our shirt. Okay. Now we have three colors. 
So if you want to make other colors, I want to show you how. Wait, can we do designs on the glasses too? Oh, let's do it. What were you thinking? I'm just going to do lines. Okay. I'm going to do like I'll do lines a too. line in the middle. And then I'm going to do a, a straight do line. Maybe three or four on the top. And then three or four on the bottom too. Oh. And then it's just going to, it's going to look like sleek. Sleek glasses. That means fancy. I see you. Good idea. Thanks. So creative. Okay, now, so we have red, we have yellow, and we have blue. Those are the primary colors. But guess what? We can make the whole rainbow. So, to make the next color, so let's go in the rainbow. Rainbow has red. What's next? Orange. Okay, to make orange, you're going to mix red and yellow. Okay. Got our orange. Orange mix mixed. it together. Check. Okay. So red, orange, yellow. Roy G. Biv. Green. Green. To make green, you're going to mix yellow and you're going to mix blue. Blue is stronger than yellow. Yes. Make sure you use more yellow. Green. Check. Check. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Indigo. Or? Violet. Or? Purple. Yes. All kind of the same. They're, all, they're related. They're all related. So you might hear any of those. To make purple or violet or indigo, you're going to mix blue and red. And then mix. Na, 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 na. Ooh, Whoa, that's is a that dark purple? Whoa! That is pr that's going to be pretty that's on the paper. That's cool. We might. Uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to get. Okay, so you have your rainbow colors, so you get to pick whatever color. Okay. You want. For so your let's glasses. start. Yes. Let's start with our. Just because it might be easier, let's start with our sunglasses. So then, when our when we're painting our shirt, it doesn't get in the way. Okay. Right. Sure. Okay. Paint our sunglasses first. Okay. Pick a color, any color. I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do red. Do it. I'm doing blue. Wait, is this orange? I'm gonna do orange. Yep. This is a pretty orange. Oh. I'm gonna make my shirt rainbow. I'll make my sunglasses blue. Paint your sunglasses. Oh, that looks sweet! Okay, Keenan had some fun and he has a two toned glasses. Two toned! <laughs> now, and then I made mine go from little blue to green. Nice. So we both had changing color glasses. Now let's do your shirt. I like your sideways lines. Thank you. You inspired me. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so shirt you're going to paint your shirt. I'm actually going to paint mine rainbow. I'm going to do purple on this side and orange on this side so it do it. Flips. <laughs> okay. Go. Paint your shirt. So while Keenan is painting his or finishing up his cool shirt, I want to show you one trick. So you'll see that I have mine and it's a little bit wet still on parts of it. I'm going to go in and add some fun color explosions. So if I have a color here, maybe I'm going to add more color explosions. So I'm going to pick up a color and while it's wet, I'm going to go in. Ooh. Add some color dots. Let's see, pick up different colors. So you, this is a way you can have fun. Add some light green. You are a artist, an artist painting. So keep having fun. Decorate your shirt. Ooh, I love that, Keenan. 
Thank you. Your mixture. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you are going to think about what is your scenery behind you? Is it sunny outside? You are, we're wearing sunglasses, so mm -hmm. maybe it's sunny. Maybe it's actually cloudy. This is your world, so you can, and you have all your colors, so you can paint anything behind you. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna draw a sun. Okay. And then what are you gonna do? So my big hair took up a lot of space. So what I want to do is, you may have noticed these strange lines on my face. That's because I have facial hair. So I'm going to color in my facial hair. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take some time to do that. So if you want to draw, paint a sun with me, I have my yellow. Oh, yes. And I'm going to draw or paint my sun in this corner. So our sun is a big circle, but right now I only see this part. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw a curve like that. So there's my sun. Big bright yellow sun. Now, the sun might have a little bit of orange. So do I have some orange still? I have some red. So I'm mixing some red and some yellow. Oh. There's our bright yellow sun. How's it going, Keenan? Good. I've never looked better. <laughs> so there's our sun. And then just for fun, I'm gonna paint some sun rays. So I'm gonna draw some lines. Here comes the sun. Mm -hmm. Na 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 na. Facial hair accomplished. Boom. Sun accomplished. Okay, now, here's our last step. We're gonna use our imagination. Okay. Okay, so what I would like you all to do with me is we're gonna close our eyes. So you're gonna close your eyes and I want you to imagine and use your creativity and think about what you are looking in front of you. So we are going to be coloring our sunglasses. So we have our magical power eyes. What is in front of us right now? First question I wanna ask you is, is it nighttime or is it daytime? It's, I'm in a room with lights and okay. a camera. Okay, <laughs> we are in that. Are your eyes closed? Yes. Okay, so you are thinking, so for Keenan, it's that mine is it sunny outside. Now, so Keenan's in a room, but if you're outside like me, what is in front of you? Are there hills? Is there water? Are, is it grassy? What do you see? Are you on a road? Ooh, are you on a road? Is there a path? I like that. Ooh. So. I want you to imagine that. So we have our ground, we have our sky because it's whatever color your sky is. Now, whatever you are, the ground is, is there something on top of that? So if you see water, is there a shark jumping out? A bench. If you're in a park, is there a bench? Ooh, a swing set. Oh, is there maybe now you can see your basketball court? Or a hammock. Or a hammock. Two trees in a hammock. Yes. So what do you see? Now I want you to open your eyes and I want you to draw that. Okay. So if you have your crayons or you can either use crayons or you can use your paint, mm. you get to have so much fun with this. Now when you draw this, I don't want you to be hard on yourself. I want you to have fun and be creative. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can that okay. be our promise to ourselves? That's our promise to ourselves. Okay. So, I think I'm just, I want to use crayons right Me now. Me too, that sounds awesome. So got our other crayons. These are brilliant. These are glitter crayons. So again, what did we say? The first thing we did was, was it sunny or was it night out? So I saw sun. So I'm gonna draw sun in mine. No, there's, there's sun right there. I can't decide what, I've got oh, yeah, so what were many you gonna things do? in my head. I saw a path. I okay. also saw a hammock at the last second. Yes, you did. So I'm going to do, what if I did a tree on this side and a tree on this side and the hammock went between my eyes? Love it. Okay, I'm going to do a tree on this side. Do it. So you're just going to be creative and draw. Now, I saw water. So I'm going to draw water. I don't like the bottom of the tree, you know? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna keep going and I want you to continue to do that and then we'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we are all done. Keenan made his great hammock. You added some leaves to your trees. I did, I've got the ropes, that's what's attached to the tree, and then the blue is the hammock itself. So creative. Thank you. <laughs> Mine was water, and I saw a boat with a red sail, and I saw a dolphin Ooh, jumping out. And Mine splash. Yeah, and splash. I'm splash. glad I noticed that. So that's how you get to be creative and paint. We are so glad that you painted with us. This was so much fun. Thank you for coming out today. Yes, and guess what? You can make more. Keenan had a great idea. What, do you have an idea if you wanna make more? I don't remember. What did I say? A dad? A dad, oh. So I put facial hair on mine because I have facial hair. Did we already <laughs> talk about that? I think we did, but you can say it again. You can make one for whoever you know that has facial hair. Yeah. Maybe you have a thin mustache like I used to. <laughs> you could just paint your own little thin mustache. So you could make I more. still have a thin mustache. It's okay. <laughs> you can paint so much more though. Go ahead. I have so much. You can make so many more. I have so much fun. We have fun painting with you. So thank you again for painting with us. We also have a Facebook group where it would be so fun to see your self portrait. So you want to see. Take a picture of yourself. Our group's called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Join along, and this was such a good one. This was fun. Thank you. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and this was such a creative project. So creative. So creative. We'll see you next time. Bye.